And see, I don't have no proof. I was telling somebody earlier today, when I was out there in Oklahoma, me and Jeff Lowe were good friends. And I can remember, and now I see how he did it or why he did it. Him and Lauren brought me lunch. I was down there in Thackerville working, and they brought me lunch. And it was like 95 degrees outside. I'm on my equipment. So the only thing I'm wearing is fucking pair of shorts and a pair of sandals. Jeff and Lauren always watched everybody that they were talking to to see if they could tell if they were filming or recording anything. Always. They knew I wasn't able to record everything because I wasn't wearing anything, really. You could see I wasn't wearing nothing. They both sit there. We were sitting on the porch of a little pissy-ass trailer that I was living in there, and they told me they were laughing about how they sent Joe up to get him out of the fucking picture. And that's when I was sitting there like, what? I said, you all did He's like, yeah, we did it. Fuck that stupid fag motherfucker. And then he starts mimicking Joe the way he... Yeah, I've seen him doing something like this. Yeah, and he sits there and, you know, starts doing all that bullshit. And that's when I was like, take it in my mind. I got to get out of this somehow. Right. Because I'm not going into, I'm not going to be here. If he turned on Joe, he's going to turn on me. And then I was catching him and Lauren in lie after lie after lie. Small lies. But I thought, you're going to lie to me about little shit. You're going to lie to me about big shit. Fuck you all. You know. Yeah, my mom used to say a liar's a liar and a cheat's a cheat. You know, you just you either right. are or you're not. And he's he sounds like he's a bad one. All right. Oh, but like I said, I I'd give anything to have that proof. If I, but I'll stand up in court and say every fucking bit of it. Se- the sex yeah. trafficking, Wayfair stuff. You got some evidence on all that? No, I don't have evidence on sex trafficking. The only thing I had, which is weird, John, it was, and I just did this shit three months ago or something like that. When I was out there, Jeff, and a lot of times Lauren would be right there in the room too, but Jeff would pull up these, like, he had some videos. I guess it was where when he was in Vegas or in Colorado and in big mansions that he was fooling everybody with. There was girls passed out everywhere. You know, eight, ten girls, naked, fuck out naked, pass out. And I guess Lauren was recording because Jeff was walking around, fondling them and touching them, and then sitting there saying, oh, my God, that's going to be such a hard decision to which one to decide which one of these girls I'm going to fuck tonight. You know, and all that kind of shit. Then he showed me a bunch of pictures of shit, at least 10, 12, 15 different girls that were, like, passed out in their cabin on their bed or whatever, passed out. And one of the girls, I remembered making a comment to Jeff, joking around. I said, God damn, that one there is gorgeous. I want that one. You know, and never thought nothing of it. I sit there and talked about it. I was like, God damn, boy, you lucky motherfucker. What it was was I could remember the pictures in my head of how this girl looked. Well, then I got this new friend of mine that I ain't had but maybe a year. We're sitting there talking, and you probably know who Ashley Paige Webster or whatever her name is. She's the one that originally called Carol Baskin to turn Joe in. I had no clue who the fuck she was. And this friend of mine was sitting there, we're talking about her, and then she gets me in contact with Ashley. Well, I had no fucking clue who she was. She lives here not about an hour from me. And I was like, I had no clue she even affiliated with Joe or nothing. I, I just sort of popped up her fucking profile real quick. And my heart sunk because I was like, God damn, that's, that's that girl that I remember talking about to Jeff. And I thought, she had different colored hair. I said, but just the way she wore her makeup and different stuff. And then, so I called my friend back and I told her, I said, was she ever out at GW? And she said, yeah, she was out there. For a little while, you know, whatever. I said, she was fucking date raped. And Jim was like, what? And I said, yeah, she was one of them. I remember seeing. So we got, so I asked Jen, I said, I knew this Ashley girl really isn't all there. She seems sweet as can be. I've never met her in person. But I told Jen, I said, how in the fuck am I supposed to sit here and tell a young pretty girl that you've been date raped? Right. I said, I don't want to be the one to have to tell her that shit. And Jen's like, Tim, you have to tell her. And finally, I was like, well, get her on a conference. Get her on a three-way call. So Jen called her. 
And I'm sitting there talking to Ashley. And I said, Ashley, let me ask you a question. Do you have a fucking tattoo, right, above your hip, in between your hip and your rib cage, on the side? Like, it's not on your stomach, but it's on your side over there. And she was like, fuck, yes, I do. I said, I know. I've seen it. And she's like, what? And that's when I told her. I said, I've seen a picture of you and Lauren laying in the bed. You were passed out. I've seen a picture of you and Jeff laying in the bed. You were passed out. I said, but the one I remember the most was you were passed out in the bed, and there was another girl passed out in the bed. And both of y'all had tattoos on your stomach area. And Jeff was laying in the middle of both of y'all, pointing at the tattoo. That's why I remember the fucking tattoo. I said, I can't tell you what it was of. I just remember seeing the tattoo and Jeff pointing at it. I said, but it's on your side. And she, and she got, oh, she was irate. And I told her, I said, I didn't want to have to be the one to tell you this shit. But I remember seeing pictures of you pass the fuck out and them taking advantage of you. I mean, not in detail, but you were not out for a reason. Mm -hmm. And that's because that's what they fucking do. And they showed me. And there was another girl, Lindsay. And I remember when Jeff, he was showing me this shit on his phone. And all of a sudden when it popped up and one of the pictures of one of the girls who passed out was Lindsay, he went through real quick. I, oh, shit. And I said, oh, God, was that Lindsay? Oh, well, yeah, 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 blah, blah. And he just kept scrolling through. Why did he do that? I was friends with Lindsay. She was still working there. And she was dating Will, which is another employee that was there. And Jeff hated Will because Will took Lindsay away from him and Lauren. Has somebody now filed rape charges? That seems to be a rumor. Has somebody now filed rape charges? Ashley did. But she filed it with Garvin County. So I gave, I put the word to Jim this morning. I said, you get, you get with Ashley and tell her she ain't going to get shit done with Garvin County. They filed down to Jeff Lowe at a heartbeat. Go over her head, over their head, wherever the hell you need to go. State police, FBI, whatever. And file the charges there. Fucking Garvin County is just going to overlook them and file 13 that motherfucker. Right. Because they're in on this shit, too. They have allowed Jeff Lowe, even in my lawsuit against them, Jeff Lowe should be in prison just in my lawsuit for contempt of court. He had about a quarter million dollar worth of my animals. And I filed my lawsuit against him and everything to get him back. And he was under strict fucking court order to not remove any of my animals or whatever from Garvin County. And every one of them's gone. Now he's in Love County, but most of my, 90% of my animals are gone. He's done killed them or sold them. 